Hello friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In the last video we saw how to install and configure IPFire firewall. So in this video we can see how to block websites using the IPFire firewall using the squid feature in this. So we can also see how to find the access log for the client machines using the IP firewall. So IP firewall has an inbuilt squid proxy server. So here you can see the network configuration. In the network configuration you can see the two options web proxy and URL filter. You can see the squid proxy configurations. So by default the squid proxy is installed in IP fire and you can see the web interface configurations here. Here you can see the proxy port is 800. This needs to be set in the client machines for accessing this proxy server. And the transparent port is, is the default port which is 3128. So the proxy port is 800 should be set in the client machine and you need to enable this proxy server. So in the common settings you can enable this on green interface and should be transparent on green you can select this. And you also have the other options for the squid proxy server and here you need to enable the URL filter which is the main option. For blocking the URLs and domains, you need to enable this URL filter. So I have already enabled this. Here we also have the other options, upstream proxy and log settings. In the log settings, you can enable the log enabled option and also the query terms, user agents, you can enable this. Get all these in log files. And you also have the cache management and the other destination ports and other options. You can just get through this and use the options that are needed for you. Here you can also see the transfer limit options, the maximum download size and upload size. You can limit here if you need. So after configuring these settings, you can just give save and restart to apply the settings. I've already done this. So next we can see the URL filter option. Just go to the URL filter. And here you can see the categories options are available to block. So if you want to block ads, proxy, violence sites, hacking sites, you can block it using the block categories option. You can just tick the category option and the sites will be blocked. And you also have the custom blacklist. So if you are going to add a website in this site will be blocked. So I'm going to add a Instagram.com now to block it. So you need to enable this custom blacklist to take effect and if you want to allow some domains you can use the custom whitelist option you can just enter it in the custom whitelist so it will be allowed and if you want to allow some urls or block some urls you can use this blocked urls option and allowed urls option you can also have the blocked expressions options you can enable this block executable files options and if you want to block audio or video files you can enable this once you have configured this, you can give save and restart to take effect. So I already done this. So now I added Instagram.com. So I'm going to select the save and restart option to update. Now it is updated. Now in the network, you can see the edit host option. Just select this. And here you can see the current host options. I have already added this Ubuntu machine to it. Just can see the IP address of the Ubuntu mission 1.4 and the host name and the domain name. And if you want to add more host, you can see the add a host option here. You can just give your enter your IP address here and give your host name of your mission and click add. So it will be added to the IP fire firewall. So I already added this 1.4 mission, which is a Ubuntu mission. Now we can go and see the Ubuntu configuration now. So in the Ubuntu mission, I've already configured the proxy settings. So I will show how I set the proxy here. Now select the preferences options. And here you can, in the general options, you can see the network setting. Now select settings. Here you can see the, I have set a manual proxy configuration uh, with the IP address of the IP fire firewall, which is 1.50. And the port uh, you have mentioned is 800 because we already saw the port configured in that squid proxy configuration is 800. So I've set this and you need to select this, use this proxy server for all protocols. So it will be used for every protocols. 
you are visiting the site now click ok and i am going to access uh, google.com which is working fine and if i go to facebook.com or instagram.com it will be blocked i am going to facebook.com now you can see it is saying unable to connect and if i also go to instagram.com it will be blocked now we can see it is selling unable to connect now we'll remove this block from the url filter so it will be working now we can see how to remove it now go to the url filter option and in the custom blacklist i'm going to remove instagram.com i've just removed it and i'm going to give save and restart now it is restarted quick uh, i'm going back to the ubuntu machine now and in instagram.com i'm going to give try again and now we can see the instagram site is working fine now but the facebook.com is still blocked because we have it in the custom blacklist option so in this way you can block your websites for your users next we can see how to access the logs for your client machines go to the logs in the logs we can see two options proxy logs and the url filter logs in the url filter logs you can see the blocked sites you can see the message it is blocked under the custom category custom blocked so you can see facebook.com is blocked here i'm just going to give update now now we can see the facebook you can see both facebook.com and instagram.com is blocked you can see the custom blocked category here and if you want to see the whole logs of the client machine you can go to the proxy logs in logs you can select proxy logs and here you can select your source ip address there is 1.4 if you want to select the username from that host you can select here i am going to choose all and click update now you can see the all the logs from the client machine so you can see all the logs from that machine you can see the access from the instagram.com is saved here so every logs will be stored here in this proxy logs and if you want to get the block list you can choose the url filter logs to get the blocked access access denied websites here so in this video we saw how to block websites using the ip fire firewall using the script proxy server and we also saw how to access the logs of the client machine in the squid proxy in the ip fire firewall we can see more about the ip fire firewall in the coming videos thanks for watching this video post your comments and suggestions please share and subscribe to my channel press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos you can follow me on this instagram id and facebook page for any queries you can reach me on this skype id